Right then guys, so today is uh, January the 2nd, bank holiday Monday. Um, so I'm just wandering to the gym now, so it's the first session of the new year. It's gonna be a push day, so a current split. It's push ball legs, push ball legs, rest day basically. Um, obviously, so repeating, each, each body part is getting worked at least twice a week. Um, there's a lot of research to suggest that obviously hitting the, each body part twice a week is far more beneficial than doing once a week, which has been the convention for many, many years. A lot of the research has suggested one day a week is sufficient. So, anyway, each body part can recover within 48 hours, so that's the split I'm going to work on. So, at the moment, I am obviously doing a cut, or a mini cut, should I say, aiming for the end of January as we're going to India for holiday, or for an Indian wedding. So I want to look my best for that. Um, so what I'm going to be doing to make sure that I'm not losing strength, so I'm going to maintain my strength whilst I'm cutting, um, is basically do a 5x5 five five, um, on bench or each of the uh, big compound lifts, the bench, squat, deadlift. Um, currently on bench, my 5x5 five five, um, that I can achieve is 120 kilos. So what I'm looking to do is basically maintain that. So that's what I'm going to go and do today. Um, so whilst I'm hopefully going to be losing, you know, sort of a pound, pound and a half, two pounds a week maybe over the next few few weeks, um, hopefully I'll be able to maintain that 120 kilos for a 5x5 five five on bench. And I'll be talking about squat and deadlift as we go on. But anyway, guys, I will pick it up with you once I get to the gym. So I've just stopped off actually on my way to the gym, because it's next door. I've gone into Pound World and I picked, I'm picking up so 10 of these, so it's pound to go. You said diet feels amazing on a cut, and they are, you can see on the back here. So 27.4 grams of protein, 12.5 carb, and barely zero fat, basically 0.3 grams. So amazing macros on that, and for a pound to go, they're awesome. So I'm gonna pick up a load of those, as well as some more vitamins. So I've just run out, and what I'm looking for a multi vitamins. Oh, Can I see? Can't see any. Nightmare, I think. Ah, oh, that's really, really annoying. That's really annoying. It's the red bot, red top. It's not them. This is mini. Nightmare. Obviously, everyone's going after them. So I'm gonna have to go with. What else do I need? Omega three fish oil. Amazing. Especially for you squatting, etc. Putting a lot of stress on your joints. Great thing to have with your diet. So definitely getting those and. And then so, and ju -ju 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 -ju. I think the vitamin B is probably um, unnecessary, really. Um, no, that's all I'm going to pick up. So I've currently got a vitamin D as well. I'm taking. So I'm just going to get a load of these. So um, yeah, Pound World, amazing actually for supplements. Who knew? Right then, guys. So as I just mentioned, I'm going in for a five by five, and my purpose of doing this is really just to make sure that I'm maintaining my strength as I'm cutting. Obviously, I'm not expecting to make many strength gains whilst in a caloric deficit. However, what I would like to do is try and maintain the strength that I currently have. So what I was just doing here is getting myself sat, getting myself into a nice position where I'm braced. And now I'm just lifting my bum up so I can just pull the bar, the bar towards myself. So you don't want to be lifting the bar off the rack. So if you can see here, I'm getting five out. This is the first set, doing it fairly comfortably or very comfortably, really. Um, I've given myself probably around about two minute rest periods. And I've just caught you up here. We're on to the fifth set. Um, so as you'll see, to be honest, again, again, I'll just get myself braced. Always do that and feel like it just tightens up my core, gets my feet in a nice position, just gets everything nicely set. Here, just pull myself up slightly to make sure that I'm pinning my shoulders back. Always want to be benching with your shoulder blades pinched towards each other. Feel like you're pinching the bench, basically. So there, again, just pulling the bar towards me. And to be honest, again, I felt like this is very comfortable. Um, there's a slight pause after the fourth one, but to be honest, I could have just get the fifth one. It was more just to catch my breath than anything else. So to be honest, I feel like I had at least another four or five reps, well, maybe not four or five, three or four reps in me, even on 120. So here I was just going for burnout. And what you can see I'm doing is actually widening my grip. So I just got 100 kilos on the bar and I'm going for more of a bodybuilding bench press. So when your hands are slightly narrower, you're more in a sort of powerlifting bench press style, whereas this by widening your uh, you, the, your hands means that you're going to be pushing more through your upper pec a little bit more as well. Um, so it's more way the, the way bodybuilders like to bench press because it really works the chest. Um, as you can see, I'm not completely locking out each rep, really trying to emphasize the chest uh, portion, which is obviously the first part of the movement. And I'm actually smashing this one out for, I think, 14 reps. So I feel like if I can do that after a 5x5 five five and 120, then I definitely, definitely have more in the tank uh, on the 5x5. Five five. So, uh, yeah, I was kind of 
pleased to have hit that number of reps, but to be honest, it was almost like too many. I shouldn't have been able to hit that many. So here we're just moving on now to cable flies. So starting off with the cable at the, at the uh, top of the machine, which is really going to be emphasizing the mid and upper chest. So as you can see here, what I'm doing is just pinching the chest, making sure I've got the mind muscle connection and I feel like I'm pulling through my, my chest and maybe a little bit of anterior um, deltoid as well, a little bit of shoulder, um, which is fine, but I really should feel like I'm pulling through my chest. You can see as my hands come together, I have a little pause, which really for me just makes me feel like I'm really pinching the chest and I'm going really controlled on the way back, really slowly. Um, for me, that the eccentric part of the movement is as important, if not more important, than the powerful part of bringing your hands close to each other. Um, a lot of muscle can be gained from the eccentric part of the motion. Uh, I think it's a really underrated thing to really just be in control. I mean, it's not about how much weight you're lifting on these exercises. Again, sorry, this is me moving on to lower and mid pec same exercise just with the um, um weight at the bottom of the machine so again just a little pause in the, in the middle but as i was saying i feel like there's a lot of emphasis on people just like they just want power 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 and it's just like really quick quickly moving the weight as quickly as possible and to be honest if you're yeah great if you're a power lifter then that makes complete sense but if you're a bodybuilder and a physique focus you want that mind muscle connection and it's more about the contraction so what i almost like to do is almost go with the lightest weight it can find and almost make it as difficult as possible so what i'm actually doing now is moving on to it's an exercise i haven't seen many people do and i don't really even know the name of it it's like cable reverse pulls something like that but anyway it's really working the posterior delts and upper traps and what i'm trying to do here so i'm supersetting it obviously with the um cable flies I am trying to make sure, again, that my muscle connection is there and I'm trying to keep that cross that the cables are making right in front of my face because that way I know that I'm not pulling more with one arm than the other or with one trap, one delt than the other. Um, again, should be just really thinking about I'm pulling through my traps, I'm pulling through my traps or your delts, that's fine. I'm pulling through my back rather than it being you know, an arms exercise. You see a lot of people almost try and do that same sort of motion but they end up almost trying to like extend from the elbows and it turns almost into a triceps exercise anyway so moving on now to um chest dips or chin dips should i say so these are weighted i've got 30 kilos bet between my legs and to be honest what i like to do is try and get a bit of a tilt forward which as you can see i'm sort of struggling to do slightly it really by tilting forward emphasizes the chest a lot more and allows you to get a lot deeper um, so it's a, feel, a feeling that I really, really like. I don't really like to use this as a triceps exercise. It's more of a chest exercise. And for me, that really works. But it's quite difficult to do when the weight's between your legs like that. Almost need a belt. So now moving on to lateral raises. And I think this is the last exercise of the day. Um, I've sat down so that I can't use any momentum. And um, for me, this is an exercise that's fantastic. I like to build it in almost every single workout. I like to hit my delts as often as possible because it's a weak area for me. So I do it little and often. Um, and this takes all the momentum out. So I'm just doing lightweight and keep it controlled. Right, so as I've already said, I'm going to start the mini cut now. So what I'm going to do is obviously, if you're going to start the mini cut, what I'm going to do is get your before picture. So this is cover physique. Right, so that is the current physique. As I've already said, so today's been a push day. I've got a bit of a pump, as you can probably tell at the moment. Um, good session overall. Feel like probably 120 kilos for five by five. Actually, maybe underestimated myself, myself slightly. I mean, the idea should be that in the fifth rep of your fifth set, you literally can't push anymore. Um, I feel like I probably had three or four more reps than me at that weight. 
probably could have done one two five, maybe one two two point five for those five for a five by five. But overall, really really pleased that having had like ten days with one session in between, but ten days pretty much off the gym. I don't really feel like I've lost any strength, which is really encouraging. Um, so yeah, overall, really good session. Um, and yeah, just really excited to sort of get 2017 off. Just kick started with a bang and things are coming up this year. I'm just really excited. This is going to be by far the best physique I've ever brought. And um, first competition, it's going to be amazing. So anyway, thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment, uh, share and subscribe. Um, it'd be great to hear from you and um, your support means a lot. Much love.